chapter 4 verse number 79 says Muhammad is a, a messenger okay with what we are saying this contradiction Muhammad is a messenger for all mankind but this is contradiction that's what we are saying how the Quran saying Muhammad was sent only for Mecca and what is around it and then he became an international corporation the answer is very simple Muhammad he never thought that he would grow and become big his dream was to be a messenger for Mecca there's many verses actually saying the same about Muhammad is a messenger for mankind as an example this one like you mentioned this one you mentioned chapter 4 verse number 79 but there's a better one more clear if we go here <clears throat> Chapter 34, verse number 28. And the Muslim, they translate it as universal. The fact it doesn't say universal. It says kafa, all the people, but it can be only uh, all the people of Mecca. Because you have to connect the dots. Isn't it the Quran says we send you only to the people of Mecca and what is around it? Huh? It says that. So all the people of what? Of Mecca. But the Muslim, they are translating, saying this is universal for all mankind, no problem. That's contradiction then. So either you clear it out and you say this is not for all mankind, or you accept that he is for all mankind, and then this verse in the Quran is getting him busted, and the other verse in the Quran getting him busted, where Allah, he says, we never send a messenger except to the people, from the people, and he have to spend the tongue of the people in order to make it clear for them. So the message and the messenger, both, they have to be on the tongue of the people. I'm going to open my Skype in case we will give uh, a chance for any Muslim to call because maybe somebody will try to only Muslim please and you better be polite otherwise we will hang up on you you are more than welcome to discuss prove us wrong <clears throat> uh, Skype uh, have the circle of death is rolling forever hold on Okay, let us log in. If you are a Muslim, please text me. I'm logging in Skype and I will call you. And if somebody is already with me live, please don't call until he hang up, otherwise I will block you. We will consider the one who is calling when somebody is talking is just trying to disturb us, not to help us in the conversation. Uh, I don't know why Skype is not logging in. <clears throat> uh -huh. Skype saying they cannot find my account. <laughs> what does that mean you know uh, uh, Skype they deleted my account even Skype they are fighting me yeah it says there was an issue looking up for your account maybe they have an issue we will we will uh, we will assume there's just an error because I'm trying it says let us do it again <clears throat> hmm. 
Try again, one more time. I look like now it's now it's working. <coughs> All right, if you are a Muslim, text me please and I will call you immediately. Only Muslim please. We are in Skype and we will be happy to take your call. All right. Anyone have a response to what we say? Allah will never send the messenger unless he is from the tongue of the people. Muhammad is not from the people of Indonesia. He is not from Bangladesh. He is not from Pakistan. He is not from India, which have more than 400 ethnic group. So in order for Muhammad to be a prophet only for India alone, he had to be 400 Muhammad with 400 languages. And as you see, Muhammad himself, he said, even the Arab, they cannot understand one Quran. They need seven Quran only for the Arab. So how a person from Indonesia, he can understand the Quran, which is not in his language. Do we have any Muslim? Guys, did we subscribe to this new account? Don't forget, please, to subscribe. Those who subscribe, we are going to make you have an interview with Jibreel, who he is, the God of Muhammad. I mean, if you if you read the Quran, you will see how stupid the one who made the Quran. There's verses making Jibreel God. Can you believe it? There's verses in the Quran saying it clearly that Jibreel and Allah is one. <clears throat> in chapter 53, just to show you one of the most stupid verses in the Quran, if we ask the Muslims, this verse, this chapter is speaking about who? Let us see, who is going to answer? Chapter of the star, speaking about who? Let us see, we have a text. Guys, only Muslims, please text me. Don't text me, please, unless you are a Muslim. Any Muslim? No Muslims. All right. No problem. If we ask all the Muslims in the world, chapter 53, from verse number one, all the way down, speaking about who? Who? Read carefully those stupid verses. Who is the one who taught Muhammad? Who is the one who taught Muhammad? The Quran says, people, they start accusing Muhammad that he is mentally ill and he's a liar. And then you see Allah to confirm that Muhammad is a prophet, he swear by the star when it fell down. The star fell down where? By the star, when it goes, goes down by the star, la la la, by the star. You know, this guy, God, he swear by fig, he swear by olive, he swear by the star, he swear by the Quran, he swear by the moon God, Yasin. Uh, okay, by the star, okay. Your companion is neither astray nor being misled. Okay. Your companion who? Muhammad, right? Nor does he ought of his own desire. Okay. Everything is coming from Allah. It is no less than inspiration sent down to him. But you see the stupid thing here? Inspiration is something delivered to you, not words being said to you. That is not inspiration. Inspired is something in my head. God inspired me to say something, to do something. That is inspiration. But if a person knock at my door and he say, Christian Prince, you did not pay the bill for electricity. That is not inspiration, you idiot.
sent down to him okay he was thought by the by one mighty in power okay who is that any muslim in the chat when i tell us who is the one mighty in power who is the one who taught muhammad and he is mighty in power remember the quran is so clear brother the quran is so clear very easy brother allah make it clear who is the muslim i tell us who is the one mighty in power Ah, inspiration is a bad translation. No, it says wahi in Arabic. Wahi is inspiration. So, guys, did you notice here? They agree that inspiration is the wrong word. Bad translation. No, wahi is, uh, is a word mean uh, inspiration. The translation is accurate. Who is the one who is mighty in power? The guy who called himself Muhammad Hijab. Go change your name and come back. I don't like people to use fake names using other people's names. I'm going to make you hide from my channel. It doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or a Christian. Anyone he come to a channel, which is my channel, using the name of somebody else, I will block you. Because that is not right. And we are not Muslims. So if you are a Muslim, shame on you to take the name of your brother. If you are a Christian, your behavior is not accepted. They do that, we don't. He was taught, I blocked you, the one who called himself Muhammad Hijab. You are not him, why you are using his name? He was taught by one mighty in power. Who? Endued, endued with wisdom, for uh, he appeared. In what? He appeared? What was it? What does that mean? And then they say between two brackets in stately form. What what is that stately form? While he was in the high part of the horizon. Okay. Who is the guy who was in the horizon? Muslim, they say this is Jibreel. Muhammad never saw Allah. Okay. And then he approached and come closer. Uh -huh. So now Jibreel approaching, coming closer. Yes, brother. And it was a distance, but two bow length or even nearer. Hold on. That means the story of Muhammad being squeezed by the angel Jibreel is a fabrication. As you see, he never touched him. There's a distance between them. He gets so close, yes, but he did not hug him. And then here, the disaster strike. Look what the Muslims, they add between, to the, bra between the bracket. Did you notice? So did Allah convey inspiration to his servant? Like, hold on. The one who get a closer is who? They say Jibreel. The one who is so near is who? They say Jibreel. But in Arabic here it says, فَأَوْحَى إِلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ مَا أَوْحَى and he inspired his servant slave what he inspired this is the same person who came down this is not Jibreel or this is Allah if it's Allah that means Allah is the one who come down to Muhammad so they add between two brackets in order to make it look nicer they say so did Allah convey the inspiration to his servant conveyed that he meant he meant to convey okay so allah he inspired muhammad what does have to do with the who is the one in mighty in power who the one who taught muhammad they say jibreel i thought allah is the mighty in power i thought allah is the almighty god there's no mighty save god the mighty god So the Muhammad, in order to, serve, to, to solve this problem, they claim Jibreel, Tadalla, Tadalla, by the way, when you hold the rope, 
not when you're flying down. Tadalla. This is the clear Arabic. So this mighty in power, he climbed down or descend down by a rope, and he is in in do it with wisdom. For uh, he appeared in state. If, if, uh, by the way, translation. Let me change the translator. I mean, this guy is an idiot, Yusuf Ali. Let's see a different one, different idiot. Huh? Look, they cannot even translate the words, so they are in Arabic. They don't know it anymore. Free from any defect in the body and the mind. What? He's free from defect. The one who taught Muhammad is free from defect in his body and his mind. What does that mean? Fastawa, then Jibreel rose and became stable. Like why he was not stable before? And then how you say he rose, but the chapter saying that he came down. Look, he is coming down, not going up, but here it says Fastawa, they say he rose up. Do you see it? While he was, <coughs> Jibreel, was in the highest part of the horizon. And look, they are inserting Jibreel name because it doesn't say that. And it cannot be Jibreel. Then he, they put to, to bracket Jibreel, which is not there, approach and come closer. And it was a distance of two bows, length or even nearer. Uh -huh. So did Allah <coughs> convey. Let us drink some water. <coughs> oh boy. Uh. <laughs> And he came closer, and it was a distance of two bows or, or nearer. So Allah conveyed the inspiration to his slave. But here it says, فَأَوْحَى إِلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ مَا أَوْحَى It is him, the same person who came down, is the one who did the inspiration. Why they are switching now? Why here is Jibreel, and suddenly became Allah? So guys, read carefully. The word Allah is being added. What here is that he fa'awha. So he inspired. So he did inspire what he inspired. How this has become Allah? If the one was before Jibreel. You see how they add words? To fix the stupid Quran? The word Allah is not there. The word Jibreel is not there. I mean, why the Muslim need to add Jibreel and Allah between two brackets if the Quran is clear? You know what I mean? The Quran is so clear to the point we have to add sentences between two brackets to make it clear for you. And now after adding the sentence, they make it more confusing. Because if we take all the, the bracket, the Muslims, they are adding. It says it here. Then he, huh? so this is in the Quran. He. Jibreel is not in the Quran. Take it off. Then he approached and came closer. And it was a distance of two bows lengths of an area. So he did convey the inspiration. He, the same person, why became Allah now here? Do you see it? <laughs> and the Quran is so clear. So the Arab themselves, they are confused. If you go and see the interpretation, you will see every Muslim give you his own fabrication interpretation. <laughs> 